Yo, what's going on guys? The Iron King here, and th this is our time. This is our time. If you're part of the Breakers community, if you enjoy watching the game, if you enjoy playing the game, if you just enjoy the game in general, this is our time to actually make a change for the better with this survey. Now, of course, the Breakers has been in an interesting state uh, just because of the recent patch that has like buffed the crap out of Raiders. And all right, very easy questions here. And hopefully, hopefully with surveys like these, we'll be able to tell the developers our respectful distaste of um, the recent uh, patch. Now, of course, there's been some people that have, um, they, they, I don't know, they're, they're okay with this patch or they, they think that the Raiders need this patch. I don't know, man. Like, they're, I, I've seen people say that Raiders should be OP and then and that survivors were soloing Raiders. Like, I don't know what videos they were watching. I don't know what game they were playing, but that never, ever, ever happened, bro. Survivors were never soloing Raiders. You can never do that. The only time you could solo a Raider in the Breakers was like early, 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 like beta tests when you got your level four. Like the level four could solo a Raider, but that was like betas and betas. That was before the game's release, dude. At the game's release, it was very, the game was really balanced, man. Every game felt close. It felt like, you know, any match could go in Survivors or the Raiders' favor. Now, I feel like winning is their Survivors is just so much more difficult. And I feel like it just shouldn't be that way. Like, the only thing that I feel like Raider players or just, like, the Raider side, like, has something right, rightfully so to complain about is, is 17's barrier. 17's bar barrier is uh, kind of OP because there's no counterplay to that. You pop 17's barrier, and you kind of just get a get a, a jail free card. But honestly, with how oppressive the Raiders are, maybe that's what we need. Maybe that's what we need. So what aspects of the game did you most enjoy? Um, imagine graphics. Raider gameplay, overwhelming power of the Raider, and it's customization, skills, items. Interaction with the environment slash map, like that, evolving. Uh, destroying areas. I'm trying to see what else. Character creation. Character creation is kind of cool. Uh, customization I like as well. And then fighting against the Raider too, I'll take. Okay, so let's move on here. What elements of the game do you not enjoy? Overwhelming power of the Raider. If you guys do this survey and do not click that, you are fake. You are a fake fan, by the way. You are a fake fan. All right. Who would put collaborating with others is like, did you not enjoy? Honestly, the graphics are kind of whatever. Um, evolving, destroying areas. Yeah, sometimes the level design is kind of whatever. Like, um, fighting against the Raider. Did, did I put that for this? See, I like it, but there are parts of it that I don't like as well. Oh, uh, maybe I'll just leave it as those two. Like, am I really gonna be a stickler and put graphics? Screw it, why not? <coughs> okay. Do you agree with the following list of statements regarding Dragon Ball the Breakers? The game is well balanced. Disagree. Disagree strongly. A game UI is good. Uh, yeah, the UI is pretty good. Easy to learn how to play. Disagree. I feel like there's so much hidden tech that a lot of new players do not know about this game. Like one uh, hidden piece of tech you guys might know uh, might not know about is that if you summon Shenron in Area X, a raider cannot destroy the area where you're summoning Shenron. If you don't know the reason why a raider should destroy an area where Shenron is being summoned, is because you destroy the area where a summoning is taking place. It counters the summon, and then the Dragon Balls disperse. But if you summon Shenron in Area X, the Raider can't destroy that area and you still get the summon for free. <coughs> Enjoyed it. Dragging through rewards. I agree. Why not? The Dragon Tier rewards is rewarding me fairly. Mm. Put either disagree or agree. Loading since download weight. Ugh. That's just free. It's easy to communicate with other players. Strongly disagree. The tutorial is useful to play the game. Strongly disagree. 
Sorry guys, I got the flu, but I still want to get this video out. Uh, matchmaking is good. I don't know, man, because sometimes, like, I'll, I'll be in a lobby with all my friends. We'll be, like, 90 and up, and then we'll group up with, like, a level 1 raider sometimes, and we just bully them. Uh, siphon tickets, randomized items look great or enjoyable. Uh, I don't know, man. They can and can't be. Alright, based on your experience, how would you rate the difficulty rank what break is while playing as a survivor or as the raider? Playing as extremely difficult. Play as the raider. I'll give it like a three. It can be fairly difficult. Like I feel like Fat Boo is definitely the most difficult raider to like have success with. Like Spopovich, he sucks, but it's really just getting past Boo's level two. After that, it's kind of smooth sailing from there. Like Cell is pretty good all around. Freeze is pretty good all around. It's really just Boo. All right. Let's go to one to ten. How would you rate your overall experience playing Star Wars the, or as the Raider? See, I do like it very much, but just not during this patch. <coughs> um, I'm gonna go seven. Play as the Raider, I'll go seven as well. It's it's about the same. Is it in front of colleague? I would, dude. I really, I do really do love this game. Um, asymmetrical gameplay. Uh, evolving when playing the Raiders is dope. Co-op, sure. Approximately how many hours this all you played Dragon Ball the Breakers? Dude, I have no idea. I'm gonna say 100. I'm gonna say 80 to 100. I'll say 50 to 80. I don't know, I'm a loser, bro. I have no idea, but it's probably around there. Yeah, I'll keep playing the game, man, even though I shouldn't. I mean, yeah, I want to play 8 Vegeta, dude. What versions of Dragon Ball the Breakers do so I stick you own? Uh, special edition. Okay. Hello? Alright, bro. Fine. Okay. How did you get Dragon Ball the Breakers? Um, I pre-ordered it. I downloaded it illegally. What the fuck? Why is that even an option? Who would say that? Yeah, dude, I go off the black market. Fuck you, Bandai. I pre-ordered it. What? <coughs> have you purchased virtual currency? Yes. Yes, I have. Unfortunately, I have. Okay. Why did you purchase virtual currency? Bro, why are they judging me, bro? I don't want to, like, put that out there. To buy siphon tickets. Wait, what? That's not even how it works. You, with the virtual currency that you buy, you don't get siphon tickets. You just use the coins to summon. What? Alright. I guess that's what they need. I had to hear about Dragon Ball the Breakers. I was waiting for this game, dude. Yes, content creators and streamers, let's go. Okay, commercials or TV, just a lot. <coughs> All right. What were the three most important factors that you owe the buyer or ask for Dragon Ball the Breakers? Um, it is my post about YouTubers and streamers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I try to get myself. Uh, it was the game of the moment. The game everyone was talking about. Shit, dude. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. It, bro, this is this is too real. This is too real, bro. Why is I have that in there? Is Dragon Ball the Breakers the first Dragon Ball game you played? Oh my god, no. Imagine that's somebody's first Dragon Ball game. Which one have I played? I played Kakarot, Xenoverse 2, Xenoverse, Legends, and that's it. I've not played One Piece. I've only played Naruto games. <coughs> Approximately how many hours per week do you play video games? Alright, bro. I don't know, 17 to 4? Fuck. Bro, they're trying to make me look like a loser, bro. I don't know, 15 to 19? Shit. 
which are the following game systems that you usually play. Yeah, or actually just, yeah, my laptop and my PS5. What's the following types of games do you like to play? Action adventure, RPG, action RPG. Soulsborne. Party. That's that's good for the player. How often do you play in the following ways on PC slash console? Um, very regularly. Sure, dude. Alright, how many games do you buy a year for your- Bro, I don't know. Ten. How old are you? 23, bro. I'm a male. Bro, this is... I'm gonna take off party, then. That's it, dude? I thought they would have, like... Bro, this survey sucks! <laughs> Making me sick! All right, guys, so that was the survey. Let me know what you think. I think the survey was kind of ass. It really didn't give any options to like say what needed to be improved, what didn't need to be improved. It kind of just asked very generic shit. What the fuck? All right, guys, well, if you enjoyed the video, you know, subscribe, leave a like, comment down below. I really hope they improve their surveys, bro, because they used to have like better feedback options, but pretty crappy here. But anyways, guys, um, Hurricane starting out, dude. Fuck. What was this?